can introduce a little bit uh, when we talk about history of clarinet. But anyway, the French school, especially Paris Conservatoire, they, they use that word embouchure, embouchure a lot. So that become the words everybody uses. What is, what is the correct embouchure? What not to do to have a correct embouchure, okay? Jamie, what do you think? What not to do? Um, not to put your entire mouth, I mean the entire mouthpiece in your mouth. Not put the entire mouthpiece in your mouth. In other words, you need to make sure they have the right proportion of the mouthpiece getting there. That's a very good term. Because otherwise it sounds like, that's the way I'm eating my ice cream. Before somebody steal my ice cream, you know? I mean, like, I'm eating it really fast, you know? And then you have a brain freeze, like, oh. Anyway, so what I do is, so the proportion of the mouthpiece. So let's say, let's imagine we draw a planet mouthpiece, okay? And then you have a reed right here. There's somewhere they meet. So, of course, this is very open mouthpiece, it's not very good. But anyway, whatever, the mouthpiece meet the reed together, that's how much amount you're supposed to take. You can check if you're not sure, okay? And then you have your fingers down there, and then just make sure upper teeth go up there. And then that's how much. That's how much you're supposed to take, okay? However, there's a trick. I'm glad Jimmy said something about this, is if the reed have a squawky sound, you need to take less mouthpiece, especially during, during the performance. You don't have time to fuzzy change the reed. So what I do is I take less mouthpiece. If the reed is too hard, I take less mouthpiece. If the reed is too soft, I take more mouthpiece. So nothing set stone, but at the same time, there's got to be have a guide, guideline there. What else? What's other correct way to do mouthpiece? Yes, Alex. Don't bite down on it because your reed will like not have the space it needs to vibrate if you bite down on your mouthpiece. No, let's talk about don't bite down. Can you elaborate that? What does that mean, don't bite down? What does that mean? Uh, well, if you have the mouthpiece in your mouth, right, and it's supposed to be at a certain angle, about 45 degrees, and when you want to, it's, it's going back to what we said earlier about having to be relaxed. When you bite down on it, you have tension in your jaw and then have tension in most of your upper body. So you, number one, you won't get a good sound. Number two, you probably won't be able to play at all. And if you do, it'll sound like just mouthpiece and barrel squeaks. Um, so having like, in, like that awe shape and not having to bite down on your mouthpiece will open up your sound. And so, so it has like room to vibrate. Good. No, so there's a, again, there's a way you have to control it. There's three ways to control the mouthpiece, okay? One is against the upper teeth, as we talk about, but your, your left thumb and your right thumb has to be, your right thumb for me is left thumb is push forward, your right thumb is push up, so and then you have a very nice secure, security in your mouthpiece, like this, okay? Another way is fooling around in the middle. I'm not biting. But guess what? You don't have any way to control the mouthpiece. Okay. You know, another way is you go against the lower teeth, which is you said biting. So, and also what happens when you bite is your lower lip, you will have a little bit uh, marks, okay? So funny, somebody, uh, some of the students, they said, I have two marks. I said, why? So I can take turn if one mark feels really painful, I use another mark. Like, oh, and <laughs> I'm not joking. Maybe I said, maybe, I, maybe you, if you have a three marks, that'd be even better, I don't know. <laughs> okay, don't. So anytime, Jordan like, okay. It's so funny to see the face expression. So the correct, and also somebody used, Teeth guard, okay? It's very personal for me. I, all my students never use teeth guard. That means they're not biting. Okay, teeth guard is not very good for me. Okay, it's personal. Uh, you know, every time I say something, people say, oh, that's not right. No, it's like, 
it works for me, works for my students. So if, as long as you guys are against expertise, no teeth mark and no, no pain, no physical pain. Any physical pain when you play with your clarinet, you need to talk to your private teacher. Very, very important, okay? If you have a brain pain, it's okay. It's, that's our job to give you brain pain, you know, do the lessons, it's all right. After the lesson, just go have some fun in the pool and have some ice cream, your pain will be gone, okay? But no body pains, that's obsolete, no, 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 okay? All right, good, uh, anything else? Anything else? Uh, Manny, you wanna say something? Don't like smile when you're doing your embouchure, oh, kind of like that, but like go like that instead. So what does that mean? Is smiling face like this? So what happened is you have air leaking. The corner of the mouth, the job is go in there, uh huh? So to that's the only way to seal the air leaking. So lots of times, from time to time, you know. When I, hey, hey. hey, I'm teaching good. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hi. I have two of them. Okay, go now. Please, go peace, okay? No crying, no yelling, okay? That's the fun part of work at home, so you can have spend time with your family all the time. Hey, go, go. So this is right. What else? Any anything else? What about nobody mentioned about flexion yet? Duh, flexion, right? The lower lower chin is supposed to look like flat like this. That's correct. Okay, now lots of times some students their lower chin looks like this. I don't like that. Okay, so in other words, when you practice in front mirror, make sure there's always a little nice curve here. And this is upper lip right here. Okay, this is the lower lip right here. Lower chin, let's say this, okay. It looks like a strawberry, but it's okay. So the pointy, just you have to use your different uh, muscle, right? So the upper lip basically is not only point downwards, Okay, but also sideways, you need to like this way, and this one like looks like this way, and the corner go this way. Are you guys with me? Yeah? And then also the lower chin. Now lower chin is weird because in order to keep your chin flat, right? The bottom of the chin is supposed to be go down there. Go down there. Okay, but the upper part of the chin is supposed to be like this. Are you guys with me? Yeah? So by doing so, guess what? You will have a very good amateur. I'm, I'm sorry about that strawberry. It's been totally destroyed by me. Uh, we can add, maybe we can add some leaves on top or something. Let's add some leaves. Looks like a fresh strawberry. No, it looks like a monster. But anyway, <laughs> okay, now let's stop sharing now. So what, what I mean is um, the muscle is all towards the center, towards the center, no ear leaking. Now ear leaking is a very common problem. Sometimes if I'm tired and I'm still to play, when I record some uh, solo stuff, I still, my wife would say, hey, I hear your ear leaking. I did not even realize that. So if you record yourself, guess what? You can be able to uh, hear what's going on. And it's, it's kind of a problem. So the way you fix it is like, okay, I want to spend next five minutes, no more air leaking. If you can do that, next 10 minutes, no more air leaking. Next 15 minutes, no more air leaking. That's the way gradually. If you hear air leaking, stop. Anything you feel wrong, like you're training dog, stop. If the dog tree in my piano, which he did, stop right away, okay? Right then, okay, go ahead, chew it, and then beat it up later. No, you don't do that. You stop right away. Any mistake you have, you need to stop right away, okay? Okay, so work on embouchure, okay? Again, no biting, the way just like Alex said, no biting, the only way for me is against the expertise, like crazy. 
Okay. And so, but when you get old, your teeth will become like this. No, it won't. It won't. It's just the way it is. Okay. I know at one time, so make sure you protect your teeth, especially the front teeth. I have a student, um, she somehow knocked her front teeth off the front teeth and then they did the surgery, put a fake teeth inside and then later on they, they did something wrong. They had to pull that out again and then put it back in again. It's, I think it's very painful. So please, please protect your teeth, okay? Very, very important. And I'm not, I'm not joking about it. Okay. All right. Now, no smiling face. Everything's good. Now, by the way, anything is, if you have a current aperture, you will never ever have any problem, including biting, including air leaking. So in other words, if you, if you fix the fundamentals, you won't have any potential problem like a lot of other students, right? So front of ground up, we have to do everything correctly, avoiding the potential problem you will do. Okay?